So welcome back to another episode of FC24 is Broken. This is the show where you guys send in your fails, your funny moments, and the things that just go wrong with FC24. We put them together, we have a laugh, and we see the current state of this game. As always, send in your clips to vkfifabugs at gmail.com. Put your first name, the clip, and the context as well for a chance to get featured. If you want to use the best players and dominate foot, you're going to need a lot of coins. Check out today's sponsor, MuleFactory.com, who offer foot coins with Comfort Trade. Use my link in the description and my code VAPEXFC5 for 5% off. So this one comes from Luca, who says, I was playing career mode with Real Madrid, and I jumped into a game against Alves. I think it's supposed to say Alves. In the eighth minute, I fouled an Alves player and got a yellow card, but the man that gave a yellow card was Gareth Bale. This is so funny. It looks like Gareth Bale, who recently retired last year, I think, has decided to find another job, and this time he's working as a referee in FC24. He has decided to do his own be a ref career mode. He's decided to experience football from the eyes of a referee, and he's dishing out yellow cards as well to players. At this point, Gareth Bale is made so much money he's enjoyed so much success as a player now he's just doing side quests you know be a ref is just a side quest for this guy he doesn't need the money he doesn't even need the job he's still young he just doesn't know what to do with himself so he decided to become a referee ea pay attention maybe have the players that retire in football become referees in the game instead of those generic referees running around at least we can have a laugh every time we see a former footballer dish out a red card to someone so this clip comes from elias who says tackle in the middle equals a penalty this game sometimes so we've got the clip here you can see that there's a tackle that occurs in the middle of the field nowhere near the penalty box but the referee decides to do some match fixing and calls for a penalty. I can't believe this game sometimes. This is the only game that I've seen over the last 25 years of playing FIFA where penalties are now getting called for tackles in the middle of the field. There must be some sort of new football rule that I missed where if a tackle occurs in the middle of the field, the ref can call for a penalty at any time. Seriously, we need VAR in FC25. These refs are out of control. They're doing their own things now and they're participating in match fixing. They're not even trying to hide it. I don't think EA even cares about being realistic or true to life. There's no way under any football rules that a penalty can occur from a tackle in the middle of the field. So this clip comes from Heath who says, I wanted to do a manager career with Ronaldo, so I went into player career mode, then retired. After doing that, I joined an American team. I loaded in with nothing but the central tab for manager career and pressed RT and nothing changed. It shows in the standings I was still playing for Al Nassar, even though in the news it shows me signed with a different club. I tried doing it again with a different player, but this didn't happen again. I'm so confused. So they signed the contract for Charlotte FC. Ronaldo will become the new manager of Charlotte FC. See, once they load into the manager mode side of the career mode, you can see that the standing section still has the Saudi league as the table there instead of the MLS. They're in a whole different country, a whole different league, but for some reason the game still thinks they're in the Saudi league. I don't know how Charlotte FC is now playing in the Saudi league, but anything is possible in FC24. So this video comes from Hamzy, who says, I'm a huge fan. Thank you, Hamzy. I finished a match in player career mode when I saw the manager having no body. This game came out like 10 months ago, and I'm still talking about managers with no body. When are they going to fix this issue? I don't even know. But look at this. How do you have a floating head in the cutscene there? What happened to the rest of his body? This would actually freak people out if it happened in real life. How do you have a floating head in this cutscene here? EA, give that guy a chest. This video comes from Avery who says, For some reason the scoreboard is not showing when I am still playing the match. One of the most important things when broadcasting a football match is the scoreboard. But for some reason the scoreboard decided that it did not want to show up to work today. How do you play a football match when you don't even know the score or the time? I can see how this would be pretty annoying. FC24 holds the record for the most amount of broken scoreboards in one football video game. So this one comes from Saycat, who says player turns into a football, even the goal was given. So take a look at Sanderson here, the guy with the blue jersey on. He's trying to defend, but he's not doing a good job. You know, he's running away from the ball. Maybe this is on a low difficulty or something, because that defending does not make sense. Anyway, the striker gives Sanderson the ball, and the keeper comes out to get the ball off Sanderson, and he flips over, and the top of his head actually hits the grass. Surely that would have gave him some sort of concussion, but apparently, according to Saycat, the goal was given. I don't have any video footage to prove that the goal was given, but I guess the referee decided that the player did turn into a football. Either way, I hope Sanderson is okay. That fall definitely looked very dangerous. Landing on your head like that can seriously do some damage. It's a miracle that he was even standing and was able to run after that landing. This photo comes from Martin, who says, Spotted whilst watching a replay. Keep up the excellent work. Thank you, Martin. I've got no words for this. I can't describe this. What is this? We've got three heads in one, and it looks like they're sitting on some sort of invisible chair. I don't know what's going on here, man. This just sums up FC24. If there was one photo that would sum up this broken game, it's this one right here. 
They should put this on the cover of FC25. It wouldn't even be misleading advertising as well. It looks like they're sitting behind a goalkeeper on some sort of goal line or something. I don't even know what this is. I didn't even know this was possible in the game, but every week I just see something new all the time. It just never ends the amount of bugs in this game. No amount of bug spray can clean out all the bugs in this game. This video comes from Rudra who says I was playing a Champions League match in career mode and a penalty kick was given for no reason. This sucks. Please don't tell me it's another one of those penalties out of nowhere. Let's take a look at the clip here. Okay, the guy goes down to the ground, doesn't even make contact with the player. Come on, that is the softest penalty I've ever seen. Definitely deliberate match fixing by the referee. This is why we need VAR in FC25 once again, because you need to challenge these calls. They're completely ridiculous. They need to just rewrite the referee coding because they've just gone off the rails. I don't even know what they're looking at anymore. How is this even a penalty? It is the softest penalty I've ever seen given. Imagine this happened in real life. The ref would be investigated for match fixing. I just don't get how this is a penalty. He didn't even touch the guy. So this one comes from Alex who says, I love your videos. I was playing career mode with Palermo and I think that my goalkeeper wanted to give a goal to Bologna. So there's a penalty kick and Bologna takes the penalty, but there's no goalkeeper. Where did the goalkeeper go? I've never seen a penalty where the goalkeeper is not in the goals, but in EAFC, anything is possible once again. I can't believe the deliberate match fixing that is going on in this game now. How is there not a goalkeeper in the goals for this penalty kick? Imagine you're playing the Champions League final, the World Cup final, and your goalkeeper decides now's the right time to just disappear and the AI gets a free goal. This one comes from Ragu who says, I've been a great fan of your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Ragu. The following is an image of Sancho looking like an old man with white hair while I was playing manager career mode. I know it's been an issue for some time. Apparently EA fixed it, but look at this happening again, man. It's ridiculous. I'm done with the game. Take a look at Sancho in the menu there. Something happened to his hair color. He's now aged dramatically over the last year since he went to Dortmund. Apparently players can age so much in one year in career mode. On a side note, sometimes during online play 1v1 in seasons, the amount of people on PC who are hacking the game just to win is extremely obvious. I'm not sure if anybody else has experienced this, but I just wanted to put it out there. I have a clip of our opponents having two goalkeepers in co-op seasons while playing with my buddy. I will send in the clip in my next mail to you once I've found it. I can't wait to see the clip of the two goalkeepers in the same goal. This one comes from Shamar who says, I was playing player crew mode recently and I don't know what is happening here, but it looks like my national team manager took a break and let Barca coach Xavi manage the national team instead. Well, it's former Barcelona coach Xavi now because he did get sacked, but it looks like he's found a new job straight away. He's now the manager of the Argentina national team. Look at that. He's in the change rooms giving orders to the players even though we've got a Barcelona locker room that doesn't matter today the main thing that matters is that Xavi has found a new job this image comes from George who says love the videos keep it up thank you George this game is totally broken I have played almost half the season and it shows from the standings that I've played only four games but the points still remain 36 how can you get 36 points from only four games so we've got the ladder here and you can see only four games according to the table but the teams have 36 points 29 points 30 points how is this even possible? The numbers do not add up here. There's literally teams that have only won one game and they've got 35 points. How does that make any sense? I never knew this game gave out 30 points for a victory now. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click the thumbnail in the middle to watch new FC25 news.